yes, I've just quit my job. So today, I'm about to get on a plane and I've just left my hostel. Right now, I need to go to the train station and get a train to the train station, to the train station, the airport. Okay, so the reason why I quit my job and the reason why I'm leaving Sydney is mainly because um, it's too expensive to it's too expensive to live here, um, especially since it's coming up for. Christmas and New Year, hostel prices go from an average of $30 a night all the way up to about $90 to $100 a night. And that's for the rubbish hostels. For a decent hostel, you're looking at over $100 a night in the Christmas period. Um, so there's no way that I can afford to stay in Sydney. Uh, so I told you that I signed up to some websites. One of them that I signed up to was a website called Workaway. A guy emailed me and asked if I wanted to do something and I accepted it and that is what I'm away to do now. Right, so the Opal card machines stopped working so I need to go to the convenience store which is around the corner, top it up. Um, and for your own information, if you're going to domestic flights, airport, terminal, whatever you want to call it, you need to pay $17 to get the train from there, from the station to the airport. It's a lot cheaper than a taxi, so, yeah. Hey, you guys do Opal, Opal card top-ups? Yeah, I'm needing to put um, $20 on it. It's great, thank you very much, cheers. Suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream you wanted to dream. And you would naturally, as you began on this adventure of dreams, you would fulfill all your wishes. You would have every kind of pleasure you could see. And after several nights, you would say, well, that was pretty great. But now let's, um, let's have a surprise. Let's have a dream which isn't under control. Well, something is going to happen to me that I don't know what it's going to be. Then you would get more and more adventurous and you would make further and further out gambles as to what you would dream. And finally, you would dream where you are now. I'm actually flying with Virgin Australia. Um, you're probably wondering how I managed to afford the flight, but it was actually really quite cheap. Um, it worked out cheaper than the bus. The bus takes four hours from Sydney to Canberra, as the plane takes an hour. And it was advertised online for the bus to be $95, and the actual plane was $90. So I thought it was like common sense just to go with the plane. There we go, that's mine. Canberra 1805, Virgin Australia. 
it feels good to be back in the airport again. I kind of feel like I'm um, back to travelling. I really, I really do like airports. It gives you that nice feeling. I've never been on a Virgin plane before, and apparently these planes are quite fancy. Of course, it is Richard Branson that has this company. So now I'm checking in. Right there. Let's go. Hi, um, I'm just checking in. Say again, sorry. Go check in. Yeah, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm doing like YouTube. Ah, cool. Yeah. So. What of your travels? Yeah. So I create nice. travel videos. Oh. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Where are you flying to today? Uh, Canberra. Cool. That That's is awesome. yours. Thank you very much. Just make sure you're at gate 34 mm -hmm. and your boarding time is 5:34. Oh, that's cool. All right. So enjoy. Yes, thank you very much. See you later. Bye. All checked in. No need to go through security. I hate security because then you've got to take all your bags off, your shoes off, your belt off. I feel like I'm getting naked. Hi. <laughs> the reason why I'm going to Canberra is because I'm going to be working for accommodation in a hostel and that means I have free accommodation for however long I'm there. They also do paid work in the hostel so I can earn money as well, which means I'm going to be able to save up money and then I'll be able to have money to live quite comfortably in Asia while I set up um, and that will allow me to set up the digital nomad lifestyle and from that point I'll be able to and that is the grand plan I was talking too much and went right past my gate <laughs> Since I'm not going to be back in the UK for ages, I thought, get a nice cold beer, have a drink of this, maybe get a little bit of something to eat before we get on the plane. It's, it's five o'clock just now, the flight's been delayed, it was going to be at 20 past six, but it's now going to be at seven o'clock. So I'll just get something to eat and sit here and chill, wait for the flight to come in and then we'll get going to London. But. All right, now I'm just sitting here waiting for my flight. It's, what time is it? It is 15.41. Um, and my flight is 17.35. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna wait here. Um, I've actually changed my top by the way because the t-shirt that I was wearing before, I was sweating quite a lot trying to get to this airport and it was kind of soaking. That sounds horrible, but yeah, my t-shirt was soaking so I changed it. Um, but a couple of quick tips um, if you're in Australia. Um, something It's just a random thought off the top of my head. If you're coming to Australia, um, the mistake I made was going um, with a bank called ANZ. ANZ, there's nothing wrong with them, but there's hardly any ATMs anywhere in the city. Um, 
the best bank to go for is Commonwealth. They have a bank on literally every corner of the street. Um, if you have an ANZ card and you go to a Commonwealth or any other like bank account that isn't ANZ, you get charged. Um, so my recommendation is to go with Commonwealth. So my second tip is to not come to Australia if you're planning on starting out your digital nomad career. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. Go to Asia or something. But that's a lesson learned on my part, I guess. I don't know if I told you actually, but I'm flying to the Australian capital, which is Canberra. Um, and I'm going to be there for however long it takes me to save up some money to head to Asia. Okay, so I need to go to Wondershare for more, as that's my video editing software. That should pretty much come up now. And then whenever you want to start a new project, you just go to full feature mode. But I actually don't want to do that because I've already I've already started a project, so um, I need to go to file uh, open project and. Um, Sydney leave or stay because that's the vlog that I'm doing just now so this is the vlog that you guys will see before I leave to Canberra so your video editing software basically looks like and you can see we have the timeline there so that's the music and then you've got obviously all the different videos that I've taken, putting onto the timeline. So right now, I have done... One, one minute 34 into it. So I've still got quite a little bit of editing to do. Um, but yeah, so uh, uh, this is actually quite an alright software. It's uh, about 30... British pounds per year. Um, it's not a contract or anything, so when your year's out, it just runs out and you have to renew it yourself. But yeah, it's really good. Awesome, thank you. No, there aren't any seats actually. This is the first time I've got on the flight first. First person on the flight. Um, but yeah. Just heading on the plane now. Next stop, Canberra. <laughs> Hello. Thanks. For awesome. Thank you. Oh. It's important that you get your own mask first before assisting other guests. I really did think I was going to be in Sydney a lot longer than what I was. That's the beauty of travel, I, I guess. I've arrived in Canberra. I think this is going to be the start of a new chapter in the pursuit to become a digital nomad.
I think I'm going to end it here. I don't really have much else to say. So remember, the world's at your feet. Go and explore. Try not to get lost. And I'll see you at the next video.